Hi everyone, my name is Evita and I'm a European journalist and media producer and I'm very dedicated towards promoting healthy lifestyle. My story started this way. I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in the, in the year 2000 and I had a very bad diet, you know, and I knew that I felt very weak and I felt very sleepy. I, knew, I felt like as if something was chewing me inside. I was unhappily married, I was in a deep depression and I would wake up around 9 a.m. and open my eyes with coffee and look at the window and, and feel like, oh God, another day to live? No, stop the strain, I'm getting off. My diet was like pizza, coke, ice cream and we had no awareness of, of, of healthy lifestyle whatsoever. You know, I felt like there was something in this area because it was hurting me when I would bow down and, you know, wanted to pick up something from the floor. In January, I went to the doctor. And you can imagine, I was so surprised on ultrasound. The, the doctors checked my ovaries and they were like, hey, listen, where are your ovaries? Where are your ovaries? All we see is like cauliflower of tumors. So mine were not visible. They were just covered and covered by tumors and the doctors recommended that I would have a test whether this is not cancer and, uh, and also they said, uh, they, they recommended that I would have a surgery and, and you know, prepare for that. In that time I, I returned home and I said to my husband that, listen, I may have cancer, you know, it's very serious, my condition. I just didn't feel supported and I didn't feel like he felt even, you know, like empathic about it and so on. So it was like a wake up call. I realized that, hey, listen, you know, nobody's gonna take care of me here. I have to take care of myself. So I went to the farmer's market, got myself organic vegetables and, you know, beets and apples and tons of it, right? and olive oil and lemon juice and I returned for a test to, to the doctors and then I began my cleanse and I had to wait like a few days for the result. So I used this time to stay at home and make this cleanse. And during this time I was not allowed to eat. I was supposed to be juicing and cleansing the intestine and juicing and drinking, you know, this olive oil and so on. You cannot imagine, it was like one of the most horrible few days of my life, I was like like a sugar junkie without the sugar. And I had shudders, I had um, like, you know, sometimes I felt cold, sometimes I felt hot, I, had, I, I felt different emotions coming out of me, also I felt very weak. During barely like five days, what happened was that I could see 16 stones came out of my gallbladder and also my skin cleared up. I, for the first time, I lost weight. I used to weigh 180 pounds in this time. All my life, I was a chubby, fat girl. First time in my life, fighting for my life actually awakened my beauty, awakened my sense of feminine, um, goddess, feminine attraction. I returned back to the doctors to get the test, get the results and I entered the, the, the medical office with, uh, I entered the clinic with a smile on my face. I wanted to share the joyful news that, listen, I just got, got rid of the gallbladder stones, my cravings have changed, I don't crave sugar anymore, I'm crazy for vegetables, I don't even crave meat. So I wanted to share with them, so they would share with their patients uh, these simple methods of becoming healthy. So I went there with a mission, and they had news for me. They said, well, we are very sorry, but you know, you have cancer, ovarian cancer, it's very serious. And then I was like, doctors, do you know the cause of my disease? They laughed, they said, if we knew the cause, we would have a Nobel Prize. And I said, you know, well, I do not have the Nobel Prize, but I think I know what, what caused it. Toxic diet and toxic relationships. And I said to them, I'm going to tr give myself four months time because it took me probably years to develop that toxic condition, that disease in my body. So now I'm gonna give myself a little more time to cleanse and 
continue drinking juices and, and eating plenty of salads and start exercising. I said, if after four months my condition is not better, then I will continue, I, I will return here for surgery. Basically, I went back straight into raw, what is called today, raw vegan lifestyle. Foods that are alive, that are beaming with energy, that haven't been sprayed, that are not chemically, whatever, tempered, played with, refined, and so on. Foods that haven't been projected and processed through the industry. No sugar, no meat, no dairy, above everything. No eggs, because they accumulate a lot of toxins on the ovaries. After four months, I, was, I lost about 54 pounds and decided to divorce. I decided to free myself from the toxic relationship that I was in. It took me four months when I was monitoring my uh, condition and I could see how the ultras, on the ultrasound how the ovarian tumors are getting smaller and smaller. Why were they getting smaller? Because I would focus, I, would, I did not focus on the disease. I focused on strengthening the liver so that it would clean the blood and take the toxins out and process them, discharge them, bye-bye. I focused on strengthening the, the pancreas, kidneys, um, all, the, all, the, all the blood system, all, this, all the other organs that were healthy. And naturally the ovaries went back to health. That's it. I didn't focus on the cancer, I didn't focus on the problem, I focused on the solution. After four months, I was diagnosed cancer-free, and I went back to, to the same doctors who, who did this, and they were very, very, very surprised. Unfortunately, they didn't want to believe me. They thought that I did some hormonal therapy or, or steroids or something else, you know, and I just said no. I just changed two things in my life. I established mental clarity. I made sure that every single relationship in my life is supporting the mission of my life. And the second thing that I did was obviously healthy diet and healthy lifestyle. As a result of it, I discovered my body. First time in my life, I started to, you know, enjoy exercise and before it was dreadful, okay? Moving, movement was dreadful. Then suddenly, you know, when I lost weight and I got so much energy, I, I signed up for yoga, for Tai Chi, Aikido, tons of, tons of things, swimming, because it was a it was joy to move. So today, um, I live in California, in uh, Los Angeles, and I'm expecting a baby. I'm in my seventh month of pregnancy, and I know that if I, ex if I went for a surgery and chemotherapy and radiation and things like this, probably I would not be able to, to conceive a child now. Probably I would be infertile. My message is try everything you can naturally before so that you never regret. And a medical procedure such as surgery, radiation, chemotherapy and so on, then they are the last resort. Ever since I healed, I'm on a mission to share and inspire as many people as I can, uh, share my story because I know that, especially with women, when they see me before and they see me now healthy, expecting a baby, and I know that they can follow my footsteps. I know that, I hope so, that out there, if there's any women who are sick or diagnosed, who are even feeling tired, lousy, depressed, and who, who, have, who, who receive this diagnosis, this cancer, then I, I am hoping that they will feel like, okay, if she did this naturally, if she cleansed, she healed herself, well, maybe I can do that too. Viva La Cleanse, health and beauty detox.